Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. We're going to start out this morning talking about some changes that Lonnie made over the weekend. Big changes. Some big changes to our eBay store. Um, we noticed on Friday sales were just looking sluggish again. Actually, it was two days in a row. We yeah. had, uh, we had, we had, normally we average somewhere four to six hundred dollars a day in sales and sometimes more sometimes a little less but usually right around 500 450 500 it just depends on like what kind of inventory we have at the time whatever right but we had like two days in a row that was like a hundred and something dollars yeah. and i i had always said like if sales if i if i wasn't happy with the sales I would try so, try something else, right? So you started looking around, poking your nose around um, our settings, right? Yes. Our store settings. Yes. And uh, I want to preface this with, this is not one of those videos where I'm going to title it, um, you know, how to double your sales or how to triple your sales or how to increase your sales. Because the fact of the matter is, I don't know. We, we've only been doing this a few days. We have no proof that it, it is, we know it's working now it did boost sales but is it gonna continue doing that right or is it just because we just made changes or or we've even we've had plenty of like we've had plenty of days in the past where uh we'll have like a really really subpar sales day followed by uh, a fourteen hundred dollar sales day the next day with no new inventory added so it's just sporadic it, it, it's really difficult it's really difficult to say proof positive that anything works right uh, because like the time of year is all, time doesn't stop yeah so you can't compare like the same results from two different time periods and and know for sure right the weather changes and you know seasons happen and the economy changes uh, right it, yeah there it's really hard to pinpoint one specific cause yeah so um yeah i did start start poking around under the old ebay hood and there are a couple of big changes that we made first of all uh typically i'll go in and run like a sale once a week at least sometimes twice a week uh have it start and then go for maybe three four days and then end because I always heard you would get like that boost when the sale first started and then right at the end, right like right before it ended, it would let people know, hey, the sale's almost over. Yeah, don't you know, miss out. Create some urgency. And I just found that the re the the results from these, like running these markdown sales, um, they were just... They weren't doing it. They weren't getting it done. Okay. I, I don't think, I, I don't know why. I don't know if eBay has stopped really pushing that kind of thing as much, mm -hmm. but I've just found the markdown sales, like even even stuff marking down 30%. Uh, another thing too, though, could be, like if we're talking about stale inventory, uh, if I've run something 30%, 30%, 30%, 30% for like a year, like how effective, yeah. how effective is that gonna be? Right. Like the next time, like, mm -hmm. so, we, here, here's what we try. First of all, for the for the the foreseeable future, we're no longer going to run markdown sales. And you ended any sales that were going on. Right? I ended the sales. Yeah. I ended the two. We had three sales going. I ended two of them. I was able to just end them, mm -hmm. and the other one hadn't been up for very long, so I was able to edit the end end date and time. I just had to wait like 15 minutes, and then it ended too. Yeah. So that's number one. We ended all the sales because I don't think that's that's working. And I don't like having sales and doing some of these other things that we're going to talk about because that that makes it like more conf confusing for me. Like I don't want to do money is the water, right? Because I don't want to do thirty percent off and then take offers and then do twenty percent off of that. And you know, and then yeah. I just want it to be a little cleaner than that. Right. And plus, there is there is a little bit to it. Like whenever I go into a store walk into a store and I see a bunch of stuff like on the half off table mm -hmm. you know what I think what's the first thing you think something's wrong with that stuff or, or, or yeah. people don't like this stuff right 
you know well, especially like um when i go like in the grocery store and they'll have a little rack of like clearance food and stuff right like, does that stuff expire yeah you check like you why never... are people buying this does it not taste good <laughs> something's wrong with this food right you know? like you never check expiration dates anywhere else in the store but <laughs> you damn sure do in that area yeah. don't you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good analogy there mm -hmm. so that's the first thing we do we ended sales and i'm not saying this is right or wrong again uh the other big thing we did and i have been uh in the past i've been a proponent big proponent this is probably going to shock some of y'all because yeah. i've actually had videos with this title uh like why we don't accept best offer mm -hmm. well well you did i know you did when you first started I yes. remember you talking about that to me before I was even working in here. Yep. Or I've heard you talking to maybe the other resellers about it, about mm -hmm. how it was just too much work. Well, yeah, it was, honestly. But it wasn't too much work, but it was so, I just always found it to be so annoying, you know? But then I, so I stopped doing it. I stopped taking Best Offer. A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. And I've made a couple of videos since, but I have always said, if we aren't getting the results we want from eBay, I'm willing to turn it back on or try anything. Yeah. So I have I have left myself that little out to scurry scurry through, and that time is now. Uh, we are we are now doing best offer on everything. Everything with one little one little thing that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, we there's a like a newly listed item. Our plan is to not put best offer on brand, on newly listed items uh, until it's been up on the site for X number of days. We're gonna give every item a little time to sit there and sell at the full price. Uh, Somewhat like how we're waiting a week to cross list. Exactly. We're gonna give it a shot on eBay for like a week or whatever to sell at full price. Oh, yeah, whatever, a week, two weeks, a month, yeah. whatever we, yeah. Whatever we come up with, yeah. So yeah so that that's that's the plan as far as the best offer goes that is a huge departure and a lot of the stuff you're gonna see us pull today has actually sold on best offer and a lot of it is stuff like uh uh like like some used reel-to-reel -reel tapes big stack of them i got them cheap or things that have been hanging around here for a while right the take up room or whatever and like maybe we you know some of this stuff honestly we're human um maybe we priced it too high you know or maybe demand has dropped yeah we, maybe since we listed it two years ago the price <laughs> or the market has changed absolutely you know? so and, and we it's not like we go through our store no, we and don't. check prices we don't do that we never do that no we never ever do that so you know i definitely items that have been in here long a long time and are taking up more space uh I'm not going to get into all the reasons why or why why we wouldn't take an offer, but it's really good to at least hear the offers, go back and forth. Most of the offers we've actually been able to strike a deal on that we were happy with. Most of them, if we weren't happy with their offer when we countered, they took the counter. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Or we've gone back and forth a few times. Mm -hmm. Just about all of them. Everybody has paid so far. Um, the only We had a nutcracker. We had an offer on that we're just being it was a good offer but we are being stubborn on the nutcrackers yeah. because they are so seasonal fourth quarter's coming up you know right. we have we have to we have to keep that in mind too with some of the stuff right mm -hmm. yeah there it's not always yeah not all items are are the same as far as right. um offers go the other thing we did um and i'm not sure how this is going to have an effect at all pretty much for the most part uh, we have been doing 5% promoted on everything that we list. Probably for at least six months, probably longer. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of question how, what, like, how effective is that, that good? Is yeah. that effective or whatever? Mm -hmm. Like, how much more effective is 5% versus 2%? Right. Is the extra 3%, are we just giving eBay money? Or are we getting 3% more marketing for that? who knows? knows there's no scientific proof out there. <laughs> and and also i wonder like promoted listings like yeah we we see the impressions but are these impressions that we're getting are they relevant impressions that 
are they low value impressions that have a very small chance, a very small likelihood of resulting in a sale. Right. You know, or how many of those promoted sales have we gotten that we would have gotten anyway if we didn't have the, if we weren't promoting? Because just because something sells on a promoted listing doesn't mean it wouldn't have sold organically. Mm -hmm. It just means it, it happened. Might, it might have taken a little longer or it might have sold the next day. Or it might have sold the same day. Yeah. And they might have found that item anyway and still bought it. And yeah. you paid extra money for basically nothing at that point. And I'm not saying that promoted listings aren't good. I'm just saying I'm willing to try anything right now. And I'm thinking, I was just thinking, hey, we're, we're going to be more flexible in our prices. So let's lower the promoted. Let's lower the promoted to to give up to help fund our our lower prices on some things right to kind of offset the yeah the sale of the lower price. right so now we are still going to i still want to promote because i still want those promoted listings but we're doing uh 2.1 2 2.1 yeah because two no is, scientific reason behind that we just picked a number no the well no it was very There's some logic yeah we had some we had our crack staff hard at work last week <laughs> <laughs> crunching the numbers <laughs> <laughs> but no um the minimum is two so I figure there's probably a certain contingent that only does 2% on everything. So we're going to go right above them. Yeah, we're going to get right. Just like, and then after we release this video, we're going to go to 2.2. 2. Well, no, they'll see that coming. We got to go 2.3. <laughs> see, and that's how it happens, right? That's yeah. how we ended up at 5. Right. So, no, no. Um, and then, oh, I have another thing. Another thing I've been doing, I haven't always sent offers to watchers on everything. Now I'm done with that mm -hmm. because an offer to a watcher is a direct contact to a potential customer. Right. That's worth 10%. Yeah. I, I am going to keep on doing 10% offer to watcher on everything, every time. How you doing that? Huh? I go to my active listings and I do all the ones that are, hang on, I'm, I'll show y'all. <laughs> okay. So I'm on my uh, active listings page here. And I just look for my little quick filter, send offers eligible. And it's only three because I did I did send offers earlier this morning. And here we got three items. Look, one of them we just listed, but hell, we'll just take just listed that today, and there's two watchers already. We'll take 10% off to get it done. Mm -hmm. And I've got it, I'm trying to adopt a new mindset, y'all. Trying to get more. Here's your chance. Okay, boom. All right, those offers are sent. So, just that easy. Uh, for most of our, for all of our stuff, we buy it right, good enough, or right enough to where ten percent. Uh, yeah, that we can handle that. We can handle that yeah. to get to get the sale done. Right. So, uh, tr we're we're trying to get a new mindset here to try and turn inventory faster. Yeah. Like we're just at that point. Our inventory has slowly been growing. Um, and y'all see the shed in here. If we're going to run, if we decide we're going to run with this size uh, facility <laughs> or this size operation or we shed, have a quicker turnover. we, we got to turn, we got to turn and burn a little quicker. Yeah. Maybe, maybe buy a little smarter sometimes. I don't know, but something has to change. You know, so speaking of 10%. What? What's the next thing you did? Oh, the other thing I did, uh, I started poking around in some areas where I think a lot of people probably don't look around too much. Let me let me show you. Okay, here is the other thing I started doing right here. Under merchandising, right? Uh, no, it's well, you just go to promotions. Okay. And um, this is it right here. Started a coupon, ten percent off three or more items coupon. And so far, we've actually had uh, 153 dollars in sales from that. Yeah, that just started what, like, th like Friday night, three days ago. Yeah, and 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 who knows, who knows how successful that'll be long term. And that it sends it out to who? Okay, that's yeah, that's all I was going to show you. Um, well, you can send it. Let's see, you can choose, or you can make these. Well, no, that's not it. You can make buyer groups and send them out to like followers of your store or people that have bought from you in the past. Well, hang on a second, let me show y'all. 
Okay, so we have, here's buyers, right? I'm, I'm over here on buyer groups now. Buyer groups tab, uh, 3,610 buyers, 294 repeat. And then we also have our followers. Now being on social media, we're gonna have a lot more followers and you know, a lot of people, but everyone has- Some followers. Especially if you've been around a while. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I bet if you're in like, if you're niched up. Right. I bet those guys like, have a lot of- Like jewelry sellers or a comic book or yeah. Anything. Or you specialize in Barbie or whatever it is, or right? Vintage clothing, yeah. Or, or I bet a lot of like collectible sellers that are niched up, they probably have a ton of followers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can you can choose to uh, send those coupons to certain buyers. Yeah, so, you create groups, right? Uh, yeah, you create your buyer groups. I made two buyer groups, all followers, mm -hmm. and then customers more than 31, I call this, that's a purchase period more than 31 days ago. So if somebody bought from us uh, 31 days ago or more, they're getting a coupon. Yeah. That, that And there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just had to select something. I said, oh, that sounds good. Tried that. And um, so far I've sent coupons. You can see coupon sent. And um, 2,901 have gone out to customers. Uh, that's the reach. And then 5,000 to followers. And then you can go ahead and send coupon from right here after you create your buyer groups. Create buyer groups, you create coupon, and then you can come back to buyer groups and you can click send coupon. But there's a limit to like how often you can do it. There's probably a limit to how often you would want to do it. Cause like- Yeah, you'll get annoying if you do it too often. You'll be, it'll be like spam. Pro probably once is annoying. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. But hey, we're trying to sell stuff over here. It's called marketing y'all. <laughs> yep. Okay, the last thing I did was probably one of the more, the ones I like, like I like the most. Because we have an eBay store. Yep. And uh, we all know, like, you could categorize your stuff. Um, having an eBay store, you get, you get the supplies coupon. Uh, in a lot of cases, you get lower, a little bit lower final value fee. There's a whole lot of reasons to get an eBay. Oh, you get a number of listings, right? Free listings. Mm -hmm. Whole bunch of reasons to get eBay store. Here's another one, though. Uh, under store, on your tab up there. You can, if you click store, then you can go to store newsletter. And why wasn't I doing this before? We've got 14,000 followers. Of yeah. course we should have been doing this. Yep. You can go in and you can build, you can make, a, like you can create a campaign and you can make, there's different types of campaigns. I chose new products and collections. Mm -hmm. Check out new items from Shed Flips. Uh, and it's going out to all subscribers and followers. Once a week, Saturday every week. And what it does basically, it's a newsletter from our store uh, showing a selection of new items that we listed the previous week. Which, that's obvious, right? Yeah, why not? Like, I, to, I'm excited about that. Because like if somebody had shot from us in the past and... You know, maybe they've moved on or whatever. We, they get the newsletter like, oh, they've got more of those in stock. I'll go check that out. You know, I I think it's going to have like a relatively low success rate. But any sale it makes at this point is gravy. Yeah, and it's minimal action on our part. Right. It's automatic. Yeah. See, it's Saturday every week. Automatic. I don't have to touch this thing again. It's going to automatically update with new products and send it out every week for as long as I just leave it right here. Yeah. So, see date created 25th, date last sent 26th. And you can see it's been sent total reach. What's, what does that even mean? Reflects the number of buyers who have received your emails. Okay. Looks like 15.21% of those opened the newsletter and looked opened it. it and then 1.24% 1, 1 of these have clicked through, I, or uh, unless that's 1.24% of 15.21%. I think that's what it means. Yep. Because I don't know exactly. The people who read it. Yep. Of the people who opened it, 
one a little over one percent clicked on it. that's what i would think yeah okay which is still a lot of people oh well it, even just one yeah now that we have it set up even if one person does it yeah it's worth it because like we have no we don't have to do anything yeah, yeah. It's, just get, it's just getting eyes on your store you know, right on your items and is that spammy yes of course i think it's it's very definition of being spam it's free advertisement though although it's not exactly it's not unsolicited though because um, th this is actually sent out to all subscribers, followers. So the in this case, not in the coupons, but in the newsletter case, everyone that is getting the newsletter had to had to take some action to follow our store or something, and that was probably part of that's probably part of terms of service. Right, even. whenever they click that button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we just wanted we we had good results the past two days. We had much elevated sales. Um, I don't know if that was just circumstantial or coincidental is maybe the better word, or if what we did. I, I know what we did had some effect. We know that that coupon worked in a couple of cases. And we know we we probably how many things we sell with an offer already. Right. Ten. A lot. We've had a lot of offers come in. We yeah. probably sold ten things on offers. Mm -hmm. So these are just the things we're trying like we're we are not we're experienced here but we are not like experts you know we're not experts at this and you know i had to like it, it took some a couple of really bad days for me to just like say hey self are you really doing this right you know or is there more you could be doing you yeah know? what else can you be doing are right. you doing everything you can mm -hmm. You know, and I had to say no. I like there's plenty of stuff I've never tried or never even looked into, like the newsletter, the coupon stuff, the best offer stuff I didn't want to do because it was I knew it would create more sales. I just didn't want to fool with it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to fool with it. <laughs> you know? So I, I I think it's important, like even if you're like really, really good, top notch expert at this stuff. I think it's really good to re-examine things from time to time. And don't just settle. Don't just say, okay, this is just the way it is. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can say that. And if you do say that, well, I think there's a really good chance that's the way it is and that's the way it will be. Yeah. You know, and I, I can I can get down with that's the way it is, but I like to feel like I have some control over how things will be. Don't know. I got to try. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Me too. Yeah. Uh, so, having said all that, that's what we're trying. What do y'all think? Have you, are y'all doing anything different in your business? It, you know, as far as like trying, like coupons. Anybody doing that or newsletter? Or, or or have some feedback to like, you know, hey, I didn't do all this other stuff because like now we we've changed so many things at once. Who knows what's working? We don't know which one's going to do. Yeah. Like if we have a big uptick in sales we don't know which one caused it right that's the only problem with changing a bunch of stuff at once but maybe some of y'all out there like left everything else the same but then you added this one component and you notice like a huge difference uh if you're willing to share down below what that would be uh i'm sure everyone would love to read about it or if you think all this stuff is dumb uh and you can ex express that respectfully let us hear about that too <laughs> uh candace we do have some orders to pull yeah we do you ready let's get going okay we did pull about i don't know a dozen orders or so yesterday yesterday that those are already packed and took them out waiting for the carrier packed those first thing this morning um we do have 20 something more orders to go and several of them have yeah. multi-quantity items on them so it's probably like probably about 20 we have seven, 21 orders so like 26 27 items I yeah think. yeah you ready ready let's go all right the first order has three puzzles on it um the first one is five foxtrot on the right okay it's tower bridge tower bridge five foxtrot on right okay ah i see it down there Is there another one on that same shelf? It's on five Bravo. It looks like maybe on the other side. But no, there's another puzzle here. I was just wondering if that was another one on that order. Okay. Um, Tower Bridge. 
jigsaw five puzzle. Five Bravo is waiting for our humans. Um, I, yeah, I don't see any puzzle over here. Five Bravo? Okay, yeah. let me go look on the other side. I, knew, I, I remember that puzzle. It's got like yeah. some dogs on it or something. Uh, uh, no, I think it's... Um, five Bravo? There's not a puzzle there. There's not, huh? No, no puzzle on five Bravo. Okay, crisis averted. I was really concerned we weren't going to find this one. Uh, it was supposed to be on five Bravo, but fortunately, I spotted it. I was I was really concerned we weren't going to find this one. Actually, we have two copies of that. Yeah, so, one available. okay, so um, yeah, let's change. We'll change that listing because it's the location, yeah. the location on the uh, on that listing. Okay, yeah. good. Glad we found that. There. And then the third one is um, Seven Echo. It's a winter scene with a red cheer. Seven Echo. Yeah. Ooh wee! I see a Springbok puzzle, but there's another one down there too. Let's see. That's not it. There's another puzzle right here with a red chair. Yep. Got it. So those three things sold for um, $35. And I think they're, were they bought? They might've been bought with a coupon yeah, the, uh, the coupon that we talked about, you'll see that we have sold like things in sets of three, and that's why. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we have a dog harness and dog end box. Dog, dog oh. end. <laughs> dog end. Dog end. Dog end. All right. On the top. Ah, there it is right there. Uh, it's going to be number one, tie-dye harness. Size medium. Number one. It's probably this one. Yep. Tie-dye harness. Okay, cool. That's all for $12. CC6, we sold a Chewbacca dog harness. Or not a harness, a hoodie. Six. Thing. Well, I have a hoodie. I have a Chewbacca thing. Is yeah. that what you're looking for? Yeah. We sold that for $12. Let me check the size. Okay. What's it, what's it supposed to be? Medium. Looks like a medium size. Yeah. That is. In the cube, we have a vintage Sony radio. Okay. Uh, ah, right here. $15 for that. Yeah, this, it kind of worked, but it didn't pick up well or was super static or whatever, but it's still. It's cool looking. It's a very cool looking radio. Yeah. That was a Kevin and Danielle thing. On one Delta, we sold the Philips Hue um, mm -hmm. smart lighting. Yep. Picked this up at a garage sale. It's this one, right? The uh, Bloom. Yeah. Picked this up at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for $5. Sold for $40. We have a dog bumblebee costume going out. It's in the C box. C? Uh, what's the number on it? Because I think we have multiple. We have two. two. Number two. Number two. All right. All right. So it's a um, two XL bumblebee. Somebody's gonna have a big old bumblebee. Next item is six Bravo Captain America. It's a comic book, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's one of these graded comics. Let's see that one. Here we go. Got it. Sold for 40. Okay, good. Five Foxtrot, uh, Spin Master, um, Connor Reed, five minute dungeon game. Yeah, I just had that. That was over here by the one of those jigsaw puzzles. Yep, five minute dungeon, brand new sealed. Got it. That sold for $30. We got this from. A viewer named Ashley's garage sale. Yep. So if you're watching right now, thank you, Ashley. In the chest drawer, 
We have a wrestling action figure, Heritage Kane. Kind of red and black costume, yeah. That's him? Yep, $11.69. I guess he must he must paint his face every time he does it. Maybe so. Let's pull maybe one more. The next order has three items on it, but they're not very big. Uh, you know what? We'll come back. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed, and then we'll come back and pull the rest. Okay, all of those packages are packed up and waiting for the carrier, ready to uh, maybe knock out the rest of them. I don't know. Maybe Let's not. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if we can, because I, I like having my... I like room having, to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we don't have overflow room right now. Yeah. Candace has, has been working on the... Uh, the stuff we picked up over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, listen seven items for two hundred dollars yeah that's good yeah yeah we got some, man isn't it nice to have good fresh good inventory it is. especially it. like don't get me wrong i love the private buys i love buying from guy and people like that but man there's nothing quite beats the returns on garage good sale. garage sale stuff mm -hmm. nothing beats that yep like that's the best roi you can get typically typically i mean where you could buy something for because guy's not going to sell us something for a dollar that is worth a hundred or, or nor should he right no, you know that's no. just not but a garage sale will yeah definitely <laughs> okay the next the next order we're going to pull has three items on it eight charlie it's a pottery base okay let me see let me see if i can figure it out without needing more information Okay, I see what I think is probably a vase. Yes, it's not a mug because it has no handle. Yes, that is how that works. While you're here, grab those two dog collars right there on 8 Bravo. Both of them? Nope, collars. Oh, yeah, true. Ooh, I gotta watch out for Fontanine. Give me one. Fontanine! Yeah, I haven't heard of that in a while. There we go. Boy, there's some nice collars there. Size medium, um, pa patriotic, and a blue and orange one, right? Yep, that's it. Okay. And then in the chest drawer, two Disney uh, buttons. Chest drawer behind you. Chest drawer. Yeah, this is uh, two Disney buttons. Yes. A happy birthday one. They're both from the, um, they're a, the resort in Hawaii, the Disney resort they have over there. I didn't even know they had one in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. They, they have stuff all over the world, apparently. All right, all, all, right. all three of those. All three of those sold for $42.97. Okay, well, that's a good, that's that's a, probably a, another coupon thing. Speaking uh, of coupon thing, the next order has three items on it. Yeah, look, we sent, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, supposedly, I blasted this coupon out the other night to 14,000 followers and plus everyone that's everyone that's bought from us in the past year or something yeah. so i mean it was like a massive like yep. spamo spamo thing it's like the one you get in your, your yes mail, your mailbox yep with the, uh, re local restaurants maybe we stuff. should start trying junk mail <laughs> <laughs> all right the um next, yeah the next order has three items the first thing is a piece of pottery six charlie it's a Deneen pottery mug for Jay's Pastry Shop. Six Charlie? Yeah. Okay. Six. Oh. This must be it right here. Then on six Delta, two Boy Scout coffee mugs. Yes. Okay. We have some of those. All right. Look at that. I'm liking this. Man, when we bought these mugs, I thought they were so cool. I yeah. still do. They are cool. It's just people don't drink out of mugs anymore. Yeah, and there's it's a, a lot. It's a dying thing. It is, huh? Yeah. It is. You don't see. We don't drink out of mugs. Y you know why I don't? Because I'm always like a big coffee mug like that. I don't know. I'm always kind of thinking like I'm used to like the the mug like the, the cups like with the lids on them mm -hmm. because i always think about something falling in my drink Plus or something it stays hot longer it does it true does. um now but, I, I do still like to drink tea out of a mug yeah hot, that's hot tea that's what i miss drinking out of a coffee mug it's like when you get that hot coffee that and good hot coffee in there place. and then you're like you do you do a little like a little blow we had dust in there <laughs> 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 might have to dust these out a little bit you do that little 
and then like it comes back up with that full face of hot steam coffee aroma you miss that when you don't use a coffee mug yeah uh, molly likes to drink out of our little uh stainless steel cups but she's like do we have any that don't smell like coffee yeah the coffee never gets out of them 100 yeah. percent. it's weird and then the next item for that order is on two bravo it's um it's a playing card set in like a wooden storage box with some mallard ducks oh yeah or That's... A, a duck two bravo yeah. okay yeah i remember that i don't remember it being over here i definitely remember the ducks There's a mallard over here. Like I actually have a full size decoy. No, it's in a box. Oh, I see it. Duh. Looking right at it. Okay, here we go. That sold for $54.97. Oh, all three of those sold for $54.97. That came from Kevin and Danielle. Yeah. Actually, this and this. Those two things. Yes. And then we got this at like a garage sale or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next item is um, vinyl. Lerita Mitsuka. Mitsuka. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know exactly what you said, but I think I can figure it out. Let's see. It's purple and gold or purple and orange. Purple and orange. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. No, I thought that was good. Oh, this is it. I remember. I remember seeing it on the sold thing. Los Rita Mitsuko singing in the shower. Yep. Nine dollars for that. Okay. We sold that chrome toaster I picked up the previous weekend. It's on Ford Delta. Okay, it's probably going to be on the other side, Lonnie. Because that's where Candace always goes. With her stuff. Alright, four... Del oh, oh, I could have got it either way. This is... Man, why don't I even see it? I need to open my eyes today. Alright, this... That's an estate sale find on Half Off Day. They yeah. only marked it for $10 and Half Off Day I got picked it up for 5 Yeah, man, that is the and condition. It does work, yeah. I plugged it in and checked it at the state sale. The condition of the thing is just really nice. Okay. $36 for that. Okay. In the D&D &D drawer, we saw the Harmonix rock band dongle, whatever. It's not a dongle, is it? No, well, it's, it's an a, adapter. An adapter, controller thing. I don't know what you call it. It's got, basically, it's got a MIDI input here. It's got some controls here and whatnot. All, you know little things like that and we got this for i think four dollars or four or eight dollars on a private pick mm -hmm. and i don't remember hmm, i don't remember which it was but let me tell y'all that the front of this the whole front panel it was that real thin rubber it had broken down and it was the stickiest thing i've ever seen yeah and so i took alcohol and I used uh, paper towels, lots of alcohol, some Q-tips to get in the tighter spots. And I eventually was able to just basically take it off. Down to the hard plastic. All the way down to the plastic and now it's not sticky at all. Um, what I also did to test it, because I don't, I, I did, uh, I tested it not 100%, I guess. Well, I know I didn't do it 100%, but I just plugged this into the Mac and, uh, loaded up the html game html5 gamepad tester site and just tested all the controls my computer picked it up right away uh, and i was able to see whenever i would press any of the buttons or anything i would see it happening on the screen it lets you know that that, bu that button is functioning that it, side, yeah. it, and it also let me know the thing's not dead yeah. or whatever now is it possible there's some issue with the midi input i guess I think it's not very likely though. I did all the testing I could. That sold for 125. Yeah, we listed it for I think 150. And when the $125 offer came in, that's one of the things um like about offers. 
I had to I had to think about it and say, do I really want to give up $125 sale for potentially way down the line 150 and the answer was no so that this is a case where best doing best offer i think i think it was probably advantageous it may not have been maybe if i don't do best offer on that maybe i get 150 the next day right and i could have made an extra 25 but that's the that's the thing you got to figure out for yourself it almost a week right yeah which isn't long but also there's hundred it's hard to, how do you turn down 125 for something you paid like eight bucks for right it's hard it is hard on nine charlie we sold an eagle moss chest figure which one white lantern nine charlie white lantern okay it, oh is it uh oh it's a uh chess you did say chess okay I was look. I was thinking Marvel Legends for some reason. Okay, I don't think I said chess. I think I just said Eagle Moss figure. Yeah, but it's still I should have known because the Marvel Legends aren't. Can you come help? This is one you listed. Let's see if you. If you well, know. what's the name of it again? White Lantern. White Lantern. Oh. Had a conversation about it. Remember? White Lantern. Okay. I ought to be able to figure this out. Like they're out of. I think this might be him, or no, that might be Green Power Power Ring guy or something. Let's see. Let me see. I'll make my guess. That's Luke Cage there, huh? Is it going to be the last one? <laughs> yep. That's him? Yep. Okay. <laughs> what do we get for those? $13.49 plus shipping on top. So, yeah. Peace <laughs> out. So, that was one that we actually... Man, we have so many different like, little marketing moves now. That was one where we uh, sent a 10% offer out mm -hmm. to a watcher, mm -hmm. which we're doing too. Yep. Okay, I went ahead and pulled this box down for yeah, another dog a, thing. Uh, medium Arcadia Trail harness for $22.99. 10 Alpha, we sold a lot of 14 blank reels. Yeah, this is another case where I would say my stubbornness cost us uh, probably some sales because I priced it where I thought it should be and I think this is just a case where I priced it wrong. And we had a, what I consider to be a very fair offer. You know what, I'm, I'll be back in a minute. I need to get up here and take all this stuff down. Okay, so I got these down. What'd we get for those? 45. 45 plus ship. And I think I paid, I wanna say I paid a dollar. I think I paid a dollar a piece for those. Okay. So that's, that's still a great flip. I would do that yeah. again. Oh yeah. Definitely do that again. Four Bravo A33, a rookie auto card for Barcavius. Barcavius Bar Mingo. Yes. You should know that. He played at LSU. Let's see. You don't remember that, do you? I don't. When was that? Uh, it hasn't been that long. It's, it has, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while because this rookie card's from 2013, 10 years ago. Oh. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> man i lose track of time i know i really do i don't even man it i would have said i would have guessed it was like five six years ago okay which one is it A thirty-three. ah here we go yeah barkevius mingo it's an auto eight dollars yeah. for that okay good next item is the eagle moss chest figure on nine charlie this one is Batgirl. I can figure that out. See, that's back when they, if a figure was a girl, they just, or if a, hero, a superhero was a girl, they just told you it was a girl. Now you could have a, a Captain Marvel and you don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, at least, well, let, wait, let me change that. It's not you don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably the only person too. $18 for Batgirl. That is right, correct. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I could tell it's Batgirl because look. She's got bad ears and she's a girl. She's yeah. wearing a dress. Right. It's obvious. <laughs> it's simple. You don't have to guess, boy or girl. Okay, that's everything else that needed to go out. And I am very happy about some of this uh, longer tail stuff like this. That is getting sold. That's like a really big inventory location. And like, yeah, your little tchotch just tchotchkes. All that kind of stuff too. Yeah, 
that that clears off space over here for more more of the same i like when breakable stuff move out then i don't have to sweat about it getting broke right yep yeah we did end up with quite a quite a bit break of breakable stuff from kevin and danielle that we yeah. wouldn't normally buy mm -hmm. not not that it was bad stuff or anything but it's just not the stuff we normally buy unless it comes in like a a big bulk deal or something right all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff back hi i'm taller oh, i have yeah. my little step stool out because yep. okay this is kind of like the chrome toaster again <laughs> well first of all we had to put our clothes back on oh <laughs> yeah um so i have a let that one of those license plates we picked up and it's got like a chrome mirror finish to it so i kind of wanted my at least my main photo to be seamless you know mm -hmm. so i took these little miniature silver um backdrops we have for our small photo cube which i forgot we even had that little cube i don't even know where it is it's somewhere around here i think it's i think it's right here yeah and it's right here and so these are backdrops for that so i just kind of propped them up in front of me and i can snap my picture um and you can see i've got like a seamless image in there yep okay yeah. yeah that works this actually this light box comes with a thing you can shoot through yeah there's a black cover and then there's a little hole you can peek through with not it. sure where it is though. It's, a, it's probably folded up in here somewhere somewhere yeah, yeah. that's working though yeah that's pretty good yep Okay, we're about to wrap up today, but uh, the last video we showed in our haul, we showed uh, this perfume here, this, I don't even know how to say that, Candace. Harajuku. Yeah, so, but what we weren't sure of was how was, much was in there. Was if it, if it was new, used, half full, three quarter full, right. full full. Right. Or what, and. And I'm such a dunce. I'm no, like, you're not. Well, I kind of am, because. I did. I'm like, okay, you can't see through it. And I, I even had a couple of um, viewers comment on the video, hold it up to the light. And I'm like, I am. It's opaque. You and know? then I was like, Candace, you got to put the light around. Lonnie's like, put a light up to it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, no. Actually, she said that. She's no. Can I can I say what you really said? Go ahead. C C Candace said that won't work. It's too. Uh, I'm like Candace. It will. It it might work. Just I try it. I was thinking it wasn't like glass. I was thinking like. You know, some things just, it, it's impenetrable by light. That's what I was thinking. However, this happens to not be impenetrable. Correct. Impenetrable. I can't even, I don't want to say And that I word. am here to say I was wrong. R r r wrong, wrong, oh, Like Fonz. Yeah, but I want to tell you something. I still don't think I did anything wrong. <laughs> I can't say that word. But look. But I'm glad because I can see what's in there. Let me tell you, look, let me tell you something that I had to come to terms with, okay? This is a you thing, not a me thing. I know. That's how I said I. I didn't okay. use the royal we. Okay. The the viewers collectively will always be way smarter than us. Oh, I know. So that's why we learn so much from them. They are the hive mind. Oh, I believe it. That's why I was like, I went and got it, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like They're we like hold it up to the light, and I'm like, like I'm not we, we are so we are so fortunate to have the the oh gosh the, the feedback of viewers. Like there's so many things like this that are so obvious to all it has to be is obvious to one of you guys to put it in the comments. And we we really do read we read all the comments. Right. Like we, we, we may not always do it like an in depth thing, but we read every one of them. Mm -hmm. And all it takes is for one of you guys or girls to um, point out something we're not seeing or we missed or we didn't know and then boom now we have it yes like i i look at that as like a we have our own collection of britannica encyclopedias ain't, are better way better than that yeah. and then the the beauty of it is like i say is uh everyone that looks at the comments has that same thing too yes so yeah so anyway yes um i was able to i don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this they can um but it is like look at that sucker it's full all the way up to yeah. the very tip tip top i mean and you know they couldn't fill it up without any air in it because then you can't close it right yep where where's the bottom anyway look yeah yeah it's all the way you can see it from up here yeah. see that so yeah. it is full candace listed it as new yeah new inbox and uh that's how we're listing it so and i had mentioned like posting it on mercari and poshmark I didn't know this, 
um, you can't list perfume on Poshmark. Well, the reason being because of the shipping, they they don't use ground shipping. Right. So I knew that, but I just didn't. I, I wasn't did, thinking about it at the time. Yeah. So yeah, that's a no go on Poshmark just for the shipping. Um, yeah, and if it was used, we probably wouldn't have listed it on eBay either. Yeah. E eBay's. This is a tricky one here. Cosmetics policy. I understand why they have this rule, but they need to. It needs to be more specific. Yeah, because look, listings for this cosmetics policy on eBay. If you want to go look at it, listings for used cosmetics, sponges, or applicators are not allowed. This includes products such as skin moisturizers, sunscreens, perfumes. You know what's interesting though? They say perfumes. They don't say colognes. Well, I know, I get it. That they're they're probably meaning perfumes to be inclusive of clones. I, and uh, you uh, now, you can you sell a used cosmetic brush as long as you clean it. What? Yeah. What? It doesn't make any sense. So you're okay. So I know what they mean by that, but what um, do they mean? They mean like the applicator perfume applicators, like you roll on, or there's some that are like um, wax that you put your finger in. Or, right. That's what I'm thinking too. But they too. don't specify this, so. If there's a policy issue and you call on the eBay, they're just going to read right, this and exactly. say, nope, not allowed. Because if you look at all the other examples that they give, skin moisturizer, that's something you kind of squirt out and rub right. on. Sunscreen, same thing. Like, you can contaminate right. that applicator portion. Lipsticks, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Uh, fingernail polishes, again, you can yeah. contaminate it. Yeah. Eye and facial. Everything else on here, everything. Every yeah. last one of them can be contaminated easily by you touching where where it's applied. Right. Including perfumes, if it's the kind you're talking about. Right. I think they need to to narrow that to specify. Yeah. No, no roll, but because it's in that category, eBay automatically kicks it out if you put it as used. Now, now here's here's the other thing that I thought was interesting about this policy. Is, yeah, perfumes in this first little section here right it's first bullet mm -hmm. go down a, a couple of bullets you have cosmetics colognes perfumes this time they included colognes and, and comma perfumes yeah up here they did not well they just forgot to put it but it aren't isn't it is it a fact that colognes are almost never applied other than spray right but perfumes well, can no, go either true. way that wouldn't aftershave count as a cologne and you that's kind of true. You that daub hand. that. Yeah. That's you true. That How you do it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do on the movies. Lonnie doesn't wear aftershaves. So I don't know. Yeah, Lonnie doesn't shave. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, and lotions must come in the original container. Yeah. Okay. You can sell homemade cosmetics. <laughs> homemade cosmetics must. Man, they are all over the place. It's such a, like, you could tell that over the years they, like, added a line. I think all this came out with the pandemic. Am I right? Some of it. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure about I that. I think that's when they really started pushing this. The hive mind is going to give us a little more insight on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But because we, we don't sell a ton of that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah. Thank, thank you all very much for the lighting suggestion. Yeah. That worked. Yep, it did. Worked and, great. And now we have our $20 item we're selling. Yeah, all that for $20. Well, I, I picked it up for four and I'm like, oh, if I can't sell it or it's not worth anything, I'll just give it to Molly for Christmas. Hey, if nothing else, we got um, a good a good little bit of content. We got to spread the word that, hey. Don't sell perfume on Poshmark. Don't sell perfume on Poshmark. Check if it's opaque, try a light. Uh, we got to share that, you know, share some of y'all. If you make that. cosmetics, you can sell them on eBay. As long as you could, and as you long can as you sell your used old dirty brushes, as long as you clean them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really dumb about that? Like a spray cologne, a spray cologne or perfume. It's alcohol based. I know. So it's like the safest thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.